gonna try. Okay, I'm gonna try a second set. Um, one little tip or thing I want to I want to talk about too with the squats is something you have to keep in mind is not so much just when you get the bar. Like it's easy when the bar is on your neck because you you're, you're distributing the weight across your neck with your arms, back, everything. Your legs are all taking the weight, but it's getting that up and over and back. So keep that in mind that if you go too heavy, you might not be able to hurt yourself trying to do that. Now, how to figure out how much weight you can put over uh, your head, the military press will probably tell you that. So whatever you can safely military press, that's probably a good indicator of what, what you can squat. Even though you can squat heavier, it's just getting it back. You know, it, it, now, uh, lifting it is usually not the dangerous part. It's putting it down is usually the dangerous part. Uh, just something I observed for myself. So I'm going to just go tell failure or thereabouts. So it's only 95 pounds, but you see, I can, I got to consider that I got to get this thing off my shoulders too, so uh, I can't just drop it in here, so. So 95 pounds, I think will be a very good weight. Uh, I can still get it over my head without too much problem. So that would probably be a good workout weight for me, where I should be able to do 5 by 10s with 95 pounds, which means that will be four, three sets of 12 or three sets of 15. That will be really good rep ranges, weight. It's, a nice, it's not too light. Uh, and it's not too heavy, so I can still dismount it, but you can see that I can't push it all the way up. My arms are starting to drain a bit, especially after doing the deadlift. And it also depends on what exercise you start with too, right? If you start with a deadlift, that thing is an energy sapper and a half, right? So, <laughs> uh, I, like I say, if I would have probably done two or three more lifts on, the, on that, I probably wouldn't be able to do what I, I probably would have given up around seven or eight on, on these. That's all I'm going to do with the, the squats. So the last one I'm going to do for the power thing, I think is going to be just the military press. I will start with 95 pounds, but I'm going to take a little bit of a break. Now, when you're getting used to all this stuff, I'm going to show you a little uh, trick. That, especially like maybe the first two or three weeks that you're in it. Uh, these big bars, they require a lot more balance, right? Because they're, they're not only heavier, but they're longer. Uh, but go with the easy bar to start with. Uh, just to get the technique down, you know, start with a lighter weight and go with the easy bar. Then maybe start with just the bare bar, uh, just to get the technique down. But I think my technique's pretty good because the muscle groups, I can feel the muscle groups that are working. And when you got the technique right, you can feel all the muscle groups kind of working in the compound. Whereas if you don't have it right, you feel one muscle feels like it's bulging out and taking the, the load. But if you, if you can do the right technique, you'll load up your, your muscles fairly evenly. Uh, which makes it easier on you and you can do more but it's also safer so that's the squat so 95 pounds is going to be my squatting uh, level that's up uh, probably 40 or 50 pounds from uh, the first week so that's a good that's a good uh, that's good progress now i'll probably plateau somewhere in the 100 to 120 range uh, in the next couple of weeks and then from there i'll have to do you know push through that and as i do that stuff uh, again the third week in don't expect to be Mr. Olympian, uh, but I think I'm on a good a good start. I'm not worried about complete utter failure. Like I say, I'm down here alone. It could be weeks before somebody would find me. <laughs> they would, you know, they would smell my corpse before they'd find me. 
that type of thing. And, and they probably wouldn't come looking because they'd probably think it was just a dead mouse or something. <laughs> so that's why I don't go to complete failure when you're by yourself. I go to, like I say, I probably could have got another two, maybe even possibly four reps out of it, but I've got nobody to help me. So I go till I know that, okay, this is, this is about as far as I could push by myself. And that's just staying safe and being, you know, because there's other people that, no, no, you have to push and push and push until you completely fail. Yes, if you have somebody spotting you or depending on the exercise, like dumbbell exercises, you could do that because you don't have that big bar that's going to come across your head or neck or whatever and completely flatten you, where the dumbbells, you know, you can uh, let it go. Uh, that said, if you get in over your head, see, this is a concrete floor, and if you were to drop these... Uh, cast iron plates on the concrete floor. You would damage the concrete floor for sure, but you'd probably damage the plates in the bar and everything like that. But if it comes between your life and saving your life, let it go. <laughs> Get out of the way. Don't let it come down. Like if you, you think you're gonna, if you think you're gonna be flattened out by these things, these things can kill you. Even with as light a weight as 95 pounds, if you can't, just let it go. Just throw it, <laughs> you know, drop it, throw it, get out of the way. Uh, it's it just, Keep that in mind if, because if, at some point you are probably going to overdo it with nobody around or not, not a proper spotter around, even if there is people around, and you might have to do that. Uh, the guys that lift the incredibly heavy weights in some of these more advanced gyms, they got stuff on big rubber mats on the floor so that you could just throw it, which is safer because where you get hurt is in the dismount. Uh, but that's also where you learn your weight. You have to consider not what you can just lift. I mean, yes, you could probably lift a little more than you think, but can you put it down safely? At 225, I can put it down safely. My back doesn't feel like it's, a, my, you know, my spine is about to pop out or my disc is about to pop out. That's as safe as I can do today. Maybe a couple of weeks from now, maybe it's 350, who knows? Uh, at some point, yes, I probably will have every plate on there on there. Uh, but that's probably not going to happen for a couple of months. Um, like I say, my first 10 weeks is just getting technique, uh, building my core, and I think my core is coming along okay. Uh, I'm starting to feel like that, that strength I used to have when I used to work uh, about four years ago when I was working a labor job where I just felt, uh, if you ever saw that movie Unbreakable with uh, Bruce Willis and uh, Samuel L. Jackson where he's in the weight room and it just doesn't matter how much weight he puts on there, he just feels like he can do it and he does it. Well, that's how I feel when I'm working normal labor jobs, but I haven't worked a labor job in four years where it just seems like, well, if it's heavier, heavier, okay, well, just deal with it and just lift it uh, because I was used to doing that kind of stuff. I'm not saying I'm the strongest guy in the world by any stretch of the imagination, but when you stop doing 